So beginning our chest uh, workout today uh, with the pec deck on the flies, this fly machine. Uh, hitting 10 reps, but I think I did 12 or 13 there. Yeah, I've got the weight stack on, so I can't control it any more than make it a little bit harder by going slower and really working the contraction. Make sure that you lift your chest right up and retract your shoulders so you don't bring your front delts into this movement. If you can cave and cheat, that's because your shoulders want to come in and assist, so go do the opposite, lift your chest up, keep your back straight and your shoulders retracted. So uh, once we've done that set, just stretch out for a little bit and let's go again. And it was hard to get to 10 reps there, I had to speed it up and not even contract the muscle so much. As long as I was able to get through the four reps, just took a 10 second rest and repped out another 10 there, stripping the weight. So now the third and final set, as you know, following a theme as we have all this week, and that will be doing a 10 repetitions, resting for 10 seconds, stripping the weight a little bit lower than what we did now, so we can enable us and the muscle to get out 20 repetitions. Ooh. Then we'll rest for 20 seconds, keep the same weight on, and push out another 10 repetitions. Let's get every last muscle fiber out of those muscles, break them down, strip them into the lactic acid, drown them there for a little while, so they can come up and adapt to this environment by getting stronger, bigger, fuller, and harder. Sounds like some kind of a porn movie, doesn't it? All right, so that's uh, first exercise done, hitting the middle portion of the pecs. Now we're gonna move on to the lower portion of the pecs, we prioritized uh, the upper a little bit more last time. This time we're starting with the middle. So secondary, we'll go to the lower pecs now. Uh. Uh. Poor man. I picked that weight up thinking it was going to be a warm up, but it's not. It's a working set. When I start it, and you'll feel this as well, you feel strong. You know, you do the first three reps and you're like, yeah, this is a warm up. But then the lactic acid come in, comes in, and there's very little glycogen in us, remember, and very low in carbohydrates. So after those reps, it starts to get heavy, quick. And before you know it, you're reaching failure at 10 repetitions. So uh, there's no point in going heavier here. We wouldn't make our reps, and that's what we gotta do. We gotta hit the reps. So I'll keep to this set now for the second set. Get some lighter ones here ready because we've only got 10 seconds before we punch out another 10. Uh, when I went to, and stripped the weight to do 20 reps, when I, again, when I picked it up, I thought, man, I've gone way too light. But then, as soon as I got past, say, 12, 13, the weight started to get heavier, and it was a perfect weight. Then when I rested there for the 20 seconds, I went to punch out an extra 10, I think I got 13 or 14. Um, so, I could have shortened the rest time, but it doesn't matter, because we're getting the reps out and we're reaching failure. So now we've done that, we're gonna move on to upper chest to finish off. The, uh, the portion right underneath the clavicles. So we've hit top to bottom, bottom to top. Our third and final exercise is inclined flies. I'm doing it within a cable crossover machine with the lower pulleys here. I got my incline bench relatively high. I find when you're doing flies, uh, you can go a little bit higher on the incline than when you're doing pressing because when you press, you are involving your shoulders and your triceps, but your shoulders a little more. But when you fly, it's a lot less. So you can punch up the incline a lot higher. Bloody great music, come on. 
So same as before, you're gonna feel fatigue set in really bloody quick. So, you know, when you do pick up a weight, sometimes it is gonna feel like too light for you, especially when you're doing the drop set. But uh, at this stage, if you're doing the diet right, and your body fat levels are starting to decline enough, fatigue will set in fast. But don't get frustrated, don't get pissed off, don't get annoyed with it. That's when you start playing with injury, when you start getting nasty and pissed off, frustrated, and start throwing the weights around just for the sake of it. You know, don't walk around here with a hard on, you know, just put it in your pants and do what you gotta do, you know? Okay, so that's it, we're done for chest. Middle, lower, upper, completely done. All in isolation movement with flying. No compounds, just again. We gotta go downstairs, baby, and hit carbs. Now they're pumped. After the first load of tens, they don't get that pump. As soon as they get to the drop set, that's when they start pumping up. So now as we get into the third set here, and we drop down to 20 reps, that's where we'll get in a pump, and it'll feel like someone's got a couple of blow torches to them. So you're just gonna have to go through the burn. Keep going until you feel your flesh starting to smell of burning rubber, then you know you're on the right track. Man. So we've got chest, chest and uh, calves done. This evening you're going to come back and you're going to do abs and um, you're going to do four sets of straight to failure of, um, of ab crunches on a, on a Swiss ball. So, you know, get yourself a Swiss ball and just do conventional crunches as you would do on the floor. If you don't have access to a Swiss ball, then just do them on the floor. And, uh, and just go to absolute failure. So you can't do any more on each and every set. And do that immediately before your cardio. So now, I'm gonna have my uh, shake, get the meals in, obviously rest for the day. And the day after, are your non-training days. Remember the active rest days and your cardio has gone up to 50 minutes, remember, in the morning. Sorry, 50 minutes, yes, 50 minutes in the morning, 50 minutes in the evening. And uh, so make sure that you do come back tomorrow because I've got some more tips for you and uh, the day following. So that's it for today. Cardio, twists, this evening abs, and I'll see you tomorrow.